Hi, so today we'll be talking on ADSR. Now, ADSR simply means uh, attack, decay, sustain, and a release. But before uh, entering into this topic, uh, first I would like to talk uh, on uh, audio envelope. Uh, what is an audio envelope? An audio envelope uh, simply describes the uh, relationship between change in the amplitude of a sound over a period of time okay so uh, there is two factor to consider okay change in the amplitude one and another time factor okay uh, it's important okay mm, just remember uh, this uh, two thing okay change in the amplitude one and another uh, time factor okay uh, i'll be editing this in the practical session okay so this is what an uh, audio envelope is okay and uh, ADSR is the basic standard uh, form of an audio envelope okay which can be observed uh, whenever uh, an instance of sound is produced okay either in real world acoustic or uh, in uh, digital sound okay we'll be looking uh, at both of uh, uh, that okay in real world acoustic uh, there uh, uh, will be in a very subtle way but in uh, digital sound we can modify this um, ADSR envelope as per our own uh, benefit okay and we'll be looking all that thing uh, now okay uh, so let's see practically okay okay now uh, let us look at this uh, ADSR audio envelope okay uh, first we'll be understanding um, about this uh, ADSR audio envelope uh, with a digital sound okay uh, and I will also be showing you this ADSR audio envelope in our uh, real world uh, acoustic uh, sound okay so first uh, let us understand the concept okay mm, uh, with the help of a digital sound okay uh, so let's begin uh, so here you can see mm, some knobs here okay uh, attack uh, decay sustain and release here okay uh, don't worry about this uh, delay and hold knob okay i'm talking about uh, this at last okay uh, here uh, only concern red on this uh, attack decay sustain and release knob okay uh, so uh, let us understand this now <coughs> uh, so uh, let us first uh, talk about this attack uh, knob okay uh, what uh, this does attack uh, simply means uh, whenever uh, an instance of sound is produced okay in this case uh, the instance of sound is uh, i press the uh, key uh, on my uh, keyboard okay so whenever an instance of sound is produced okay attack attack time de describes uh, how long it will take uh, for that sound to reach at its transient okay highest peak level okay This is the transient of the sound, okay. The short term high amplitude at the beginning, okay. Whenever uh, an instance of a sound is produced, okay, that is uh, transient, okay. Uh, so the transient of this audio is uh, here, okay. This Uh, and in this audio this is the transient okay so uh, transient means and the mm, short term mm, high amplitude sound okay which uh, uh, is present at the beginning uh, of the audio okay whenever uh, an instance of a sound is produced okay 
there is a um, short term high amplitude uh, um, peak amplitude okay here in this case uh, it's here okay uh, and that is called uh, transient and this is the transient of this sound okay yeah Uh, so this is attack okay and uh, now uh, just uh, uh, see here practically okay uh, i have to uh, tilt the camera okay just to make you see this note what i'm doing here yeah okay you see okay mm, okay uh, so let's see okay uh, you can clearly see this attack uh, is uh, determined by time factor okay you can see here attack time okay there here okay attack time okay so uh, whenever uh, an instance of sound is produced okay here the instance of sound is i press the key okay so whenever i press uh, the key nothing is produced okay no sound is produced because uh, attack time is zero okay uh, so there is no action happening so let me increase this attack time little bit more here little bit you can see uh, some sound okay so uh, whenever I press the key here it's taking very less amount of time to reach at its uh, transient okay let's see here here this transient here uh, because time attack because attack time is very less okay so whenever i press the key attack time is less okay so it's taking less time to reach the uh, uh, its highest peak level okay it's transient okay yeah now uh, i'm going to increase this attack time uh, furthermore you can see um, uh, it's taking uh, uh, some more time to reach at its uh, transient okay its highest peak level okay let's see again yeah yeah uh, when attack time was very less let's see here again the fade in uh, of the sound was very abruptly okay suddenly okay yeah you can see and when i uh, uh, and when i increase this attack time Uh, I'm still pressing the sound, but uh, the sound uh, has reached at its transient and stopped immediately. Okay, so uh, when I start uh, to press this key here, it took uh, this much time to reach at its transient. Okay, slowly and the sound rises. Okay, uh, there is a smooth uh, fading. Okay, of the audio. Okay. Let's see here again yeah 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 this time it took uh, very long okay to reach at its transient okay and the audio uh, fade in was very smoothly going okay 
uh, so you can say this attack means uh, uh, the fade in effect uh, in an audio okay how uh, slowly or quickly uh, the sound will reach uh, at its highest peak level okay transient okay here in this case okay i'm just uh, giving some idea okay just see here yeah when attack time was very less attack time more slowly uh, sound is rising okay there is a smooth fade in okay of the audio yeah Uh, now let us look uh, about this uh, decay okay uh, what this uh, decay does is uh, see here yeah uh, there is no decay now okay so uh, the sound slowly uh, is uh, at its uh, transient and then suddenly it uh, fed out okay abruptly okay just see here again I'm still pressing the sound, but uh, the sound is uh, uh, has reached at its uh, highest peak level and then stopped immediately. Okay, now I will increase some decay time. Okay, now just see here. Uh, yeah, you see the sound has reached at its transient and then slowly fade out. Okay, and uh, uh, the sound is has reached to zero. Okay, uh, so um, uh, fade in slowly. Fed out slowly, okay. Let's see here again. This is attack, okay. Uh, up to here, it is attack, okay. And from here to here, it's a decay, okay. Let's see here again. I'm still pressing the sound, but uh, the sound has reached at its uh, transient and then uh, slowly it's fed out, okay. I'm still pressing there is no sound now okay uh, so this is the decay okay and decay is also based in time factor okay you can see here decay time okay here decay time yeah now let us look at this sustain okay and this uh, sustain is uh, not based in time factor okay but the uh, uh, amplitude level factor okay just you can see here sustain level okay here okay and just see here uh, whenever a sound is produced, uh, whenever an instance of sound is produced, it took this much attack time to reach at its um, highest uh, peak level, okay, transient, and then uh, decay and it slowly decayed, okay, slowly um, the audio fade out, okay, and reach to zero, okay. But now, what uh, sustain does is the see here, okay, I'm increasing some sustain uh, level, okay. You see, I'm pressing the key and uh, you are hearing the sound, okay? Uh, uh, whenever, uh, when I first start uh, to press the key, uh, slowly the attack time, uh, you can see slowly it is to transient and decay, it uh, slowly fade out, okay? But the sustain uh, is maintained at this uh, uh, peak level, okay? At this uh, peak amplitude, okay? Here, here. Yeah? attack was slowly and then decay was also uh, this fade out uh, was slowly okay and from this point uh, there is sustain maintained okay at this uh, peak, peak level okay you see uh, this sustain will uh, go forever uh, okay until i uh, press off the key okay yeah now if i um, press off the key just see here uh, the sound has uh, gone uh, suddenly okay just see again yeah yeah sustain okay uh, so uh, now uh, uh, let us talk uh, about a release uh, release is also based uh, uh, in time factor okay you can see release time here okay release time okay so what uh, release does is just uh, uh, 
and now uh, release is zero just see here attack just a bit i will uh, now see mm, now uh, release is zero okay so uh, here it's attack effect okay it's taking uh, uh, this much time attack time okay to reach uh, uh, the transient okay this sound is taking this much time okay uh, to reach at its uh, transient okay and after uh, that it's slowly fading out okay but uh, suddenly at this peak level its uh, sustainability is maintained okay and uh, as soon as i press off the key the the sustainability goes okay and the uh, sound fed out uh, abruptly okay suddenly okay now just see what release does here Uh, attack decay sustain and when i uh, press off the key the sound did not go suddenly okay the fade um, out was smooth okay here let's see again just uh, notice here okay now i will press off the key slowly okay i will uh, increase this release time uh, to more uh, here okay Yeah, uh, attack time, uh, decay, sustain, and release. The fade out was very smooth. Okay, just see again. I'm pressing the key. Still, I'm pressing the key. Now I'll press up the key. Slowly, the audio is fade out. Okay. Yeah. Uh, when uh, release was zero, let's see here again. Now I'll press off the key. Suddenly the sound goes. Now if I add some release time. Now I'll press off the key. Just see here. Slowly the sound uh, fade outs and it reaches to zero. Okay. So now you can see um, this attack uh, defines the fade in of the audio. Okay. And this uh, decay. And a release uh, defines the um, fade out uh, of the audio. Okay, uh, so in this way, this attack uh, defines the fade in of the uh, sound. Okay, and this uh, decay and uh, release defines the uh, fade out um, of the sound. Okay. Okay. Now final recap of uh, everything in short. Okay, here. Uh, so. Uh, so uh, no attack means uh, no sound okay there is no action happening okay so let us first uh, uh, press the key okay uh, no sound i'm still pressing the sound but uh, the sound has uh, reached to its uh, uh, peak level and then decreased okay no sound is um, uh, producing now okay i'm still pressing the key now the audio fade ends uh, slowly okay and then uh, fade outs uh, suddenly okay uh, decay mm. okay first let us decrease the attack time uh, the fade out time is slowly okay now with decay the fade out time is slowly okay still i'm pressing the key but there is no sound okay now uh, only the fade out is slowly happening now let us uh, see sustain now see i'm pressing the sound and the sustainity is maintained okay but this will not go unless i uh, press off the key okay now as soon as i press off the key the sustainity goes suddenly okay uh, let us increase the release time a little bit more now as soon as i stop um, playing this key and just uh, notice uh, the sound will fade out slowly okay yeah okay now uh, so as uh, you have known now uh, what this uh, um, uh, attack decay sustain and release 
radiation are enveloped on dots. Uh, okay, uh, so now let us see uh, this ADS are in various uh, combination. Okay, the basic combination. Okay, one after another. I have already shown you. Okay, that's the basic thing. Okay, now let us uh, see by mixing of uh, all these envelope. Okay, now let us see here. Now no uh, audio envelope is active. Okay, there is no sound. Okay, uh, so um, if I give some attack, there is sound. Okay. Uh, and if I only give uh, some decay, there is sound or not. You see? There is sound, okay? And there is which part of the sound? Uh, there is the... Um, this Only this part of the sound, okay? From which uh, uh, the sound falls from its transient, okay? Uh, the pickup part okay there is no pickup part okay if there is no attack okay uh, let's see here this is the pickup yeah now just see only decay now just sit together yeah i'll cut the attack yeah only this falling part is there okay and let's see sustain uh, it's uh, the sustaining uh, sound at certain uh, peak level okay yeah and let's see only release mm, there is nothing okay no sound is produced okay uh, and and just see here okay one thing attack uh, and decay sustain and uh, release okay yeah now uh, just see here uh, if don't if i don't have a release it suddenly in uh, goes uh, it suddenly fed out abruptly okay and if i have a release it fed out slowly okay look uh, attack and decay is functioning okay uh, uh, when i'm pressing the sound it's slowly reaching uh, to its highest peak level and this uh, decay okay it slowly decayed okay uh, and, it, and it comes fully to stop okay but now just see here uh, uh, if I um, release this key, uh, then just see. Yeah, now this time the release is active, okay? Just see here. Uh, and I have to release this uh, key um, before uh, this decay time uh, is fully acted, okay? Just see here. Uh, if uh, decay time is fully acted, if uh, and I if I release this key, there is nothing, okay? But before this um, decay time is fully acted uh, i have to release this uh, key okay yeah yeah uh, and if i uh, don't have this release yeah as soon as i uh, leave the key uh, um, there is no sustainability as well as there is no release okay uh, the, the audio is audio uh, does not fade out uh, slowly okay but abruptly okay yeah see here sustain and release okay yeah
time is here too short okay and the sound comes to uh, the sustain level uh, very fast okay yeah and there is some release time okay so uh, the audio uh, fade out uh, to zero level slowly okay And before I was talking about uh, this uh, delay and a uh, hold option, okay. Now just see here attack, decay, sustain, and release, okay. Yeah, what this uh, now delay does is uh, it just uh, delays some amount, okay. When I press the key, there is some delay, and then and, uh, everything is same, okay. There is some delay made, okay, before here okay i'm pressing the sound here just see here and after some time it and uh, the sound plays okay just see okay long delay uh, now uh, if i make uh, delay time little bit longer now just see here i pressed it's not played and after some time it, it will play okay now it's playing i pressed now it's playing yeah and what this hole does is uh, it holds the transient level okay just see here yeah here you can see the highest peak level is hold okay uh, if there was no hold uh, it was like this okay uh, the transient level is not uh, sustained okay here uh, so uh, hold option uh, simply uh, sustains the uh, transient of the audio okay yeah no hold hold yeah uh, okay now we'll be looking at all those things um uh, which we have talked about in uh, another uh, synth okay and uh, to make you uh, more uh, clear okay just uh, see here uh, so you can see here i have attack uh dk sustain release okay a d s r okay and there is hold also okay uh, so um, now everything is at zero okay and you can see attack is measured in ms time okay hold is also measured in time ms milliseconds okay uh, dk is also measured in uh, milliseconds okay um, but uh, sustain is measured in uh, peak amplitude okay uh, sustain level okay and db okay and release is also measured in time milliseconds okay uh, so uh, now everything is zero okay i'm pressing the key no sound is produced okay there is no action happening okay because uh, attack is zero now let us increase attack you see uh, the sound reaches uh, at its uh, transient uh, quickly okay here okay the sound uh, reaches at its uh, transient and it stops uh, there okay i'm still playing and uh, this uh, note here okay but uh, no sound is heard okay uh, i release and it's stopped from here okay you see it's, uh, this uh, this is going from here and it's stopping here uh, and when i will release the key this will not come down okay it will uh, go from here yeah uh, and now uh, let us see this decay okay little bit decay okay here now i'm pressing slowly going and it's uh, going down slowly and it's reaching here okay just see here again yeah uh, from transient it's uh, fading out slowly okay and let us uh, make some sustain level here you can see sustain level okay here uh, minus uh, 18.6 db okay and now it's sustained here okay this point here yeah? yeah uh i'm pressing the key uh, and uh, this sound is sustained okay uh, but before uh, when sustain was uh, zero i'm still pressing the sound okay uh, but uh, uh there is no sound now okay because there was no sustain okay there was attack and there was decay okay but there was no sustain okay i'm still press i'm still pressing the sound but there is no 
a sound uh, being produced okay and if i maintain some sustain uh, from here uh, there will be some sustainity in the sound okay and if i uh, uh, stop playing this note uh, the sound will uh, uh, be stopped okay yeah now let us uh, look at the release yeah yeah this dot is here yeah now as soon as i um, press this uh, uh, note off i uh, just see this note okay here slowly the sound fades out okay and it reaches to zero okay now just uh, notice here okay it's coming here and it's stop it's sustained here okay because i have not uh, pressed off this note okay i'm still pressing this uh, note here in the in the keyboard okay and when i press off slowly the sound fades out okay when a release was zero the sound fades out uh, abruptly okay suddenly let's see yeah there was sustain and there is sustain now as soon as i uh, leave this note off suddenly the sound goes okay and obviously this hold means and it will hold this transient okay yeah just um, make it all off yeah yeah up to this much uh, it holds okay now for uh, 2.33 seconds uh, the transient is hold okay and uh, the sound uh, comes to stop okay Uh, so uh, this means uh, ADSR okay uh, so uh, this means uh, ADSR audio envelope okay and in this way in digital sound we can manipulate uh, this ADSR audio envelope uh, as per our own uh, need okay uh, but uh, mm, uh, the ADSR envelope in a real world acoustic sound is uh, complex okay it's very subtle okay and now we'll be looking at them okay uh, uh, so let's see Uh, okay now let us try to evaluate the adsr uh, audio envelope uh, of the sound that is produced in uh, real world okay uh, uh, let us uh, take uh, the uh, two instances of the sound okay the first will be uh, my clap and second i'll be uh, playing uh, this um, uh, sound okay here my mother sound okay so let's begin Uh, this is my uh, clap sound okay uh, i'll be taking this sound and this is my model sound okay okay first let us see this 
yeah you can see um, there is uh, uh, audio envelope okay but where is uh, in a very subtle way okay um, yeah i'll show you don't worry uh, this is the transient okay this is my clap sound uh, yeah um, attack decay and somewhere here sustain and slowly it's releasing okay and let us see about my uh, mother sound yeah uh, it's the transient okay attack uh, decay and somewhere here sustain and then slowly it's releasing okay and mm, it's coming to side mm, okay uh, here uh, i have my clap here mm, and my model sound here okay mm, so first uh, let us uh, listen my clap sound Uh, so now let us see uh, you can see now uh, first let us see about this clap okay hmm so this is the transient okay from here mm, uh, the sound has started and it's taking this much time to reach here and mm, it's uh, decaying okay it's taking this much time to decay and somewhere here it's sustained and released okay from here somewhere here from here released okay so attack and decay sustain to here sustain and then released okay and then uh, slowly and gradually it will reach to silence okay this is my clap sound okay okay i'll slow it down so that you may notice okay transient okay here so this was of my uh, clap sound Uh, now let us see of this model sound okay so uh, what do we see here now from here um, it starts the attack time okay the sound starts from here 
it's taking some time this much time to reach uh, the transient okay and just seeing the waveform uh, it's somewhere here decaying okay and from somewhere here it's sustained okay and from here it's uh, uh, releasing okay and slowly reaching to silence okay so attack uh, decay sustain and from here release okay mm, okay I will slow it down okay so i hope uh, uh this gave you some insight okay uh, about this uh, attack decay uh, sustain and release uh, audio envelope okay so here uh, we studied two instances of the sound produced okay one was clap and other was a mother hit okay
uh, okay and now in this uh, part I will be uh, looking uh, more on the practical approach okay uh, we'll see here how uh, we can use this ADSR uh, audio envelope uh, to make a beautiful sound okay uh, so in this part we'll be applying all that uh, we have learned before okay mm, practically okay and we will see mm, its application in real world okay uh, so mm, let's see now uh, I have here uh, some melody simple melody composed here okay and I'll be just tweaking uh, this ADSR uh, audio envelope okay and you see the sound uh, changes okay
okay so this was some of the demo uh, that I uh, showed you uh, by which uh, uh, we can um, get various uh, sound okay just by uh, manipulating this uh, ADSR audio envelope okay and remember what I said uh, in the beginning audio envelope means uh, relationship between in the uh, amplitude and uh, time okay uh, and mm, manipulating all these uh, ADSR audio envelope mm, at various time okay we uh, get uh, mm, various result okay sound is same but we get uh, various melody okay 